from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for September 27, 2016. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the USD CHF, the US dollar versus the Swiss franc for today's trade analysis. But first, I want to recap a couple of the trade suggestions made over the past few days. As we take a look at the news calendar first, we have a relatively quiet news calendar for the US trading session today. Really, the most significant thing happening is at 10 a.m., we have consumer confidence for the US. Other than that, everything else is listed as low to medium impact on the news calendar for the day today. So let's get started with some uh, trades that we've discussed over the past few days here on the AUD USD Australian versus US dollar. We t discussed a sell opportunity yesterday into 76.40. Well, the market came up, hit 76.40 and fell back down a little bit enough to get us to break even. We can see the market fell down about 30 pips to the bottom of the wick of this candle, about 30 pips lower, then turned right back around, went up and push right back through 76.40. So the trade manager, available for members on the Prodigy members website, took us out of the trade at break even, thankfully, and we see the market pushing all the way back into or towards the upper 7600s, now sitting just underneath our resistance at 7670. Could become another opportunity if we get some evidence of reversal, which I think we may be starting to see with the long wick here, showing that the sellers are fighting back a little bit here on the Australian dollar. Another trade that we discussed yesterday was selling and going short on the euro dollar. You can see if I zoom out a little bit here on the four hour time frame, the resistance into the orange shaded area here uh, yesterday suggested a sell uh, right around the 1260 level. You can see the trade going down here. 1260 was the sell, 31 pips right now of profit on the way back down. Our next support level is this yellow shaded area as it touches down into 1220. We'll look for a decision to either close or protect profit as it hits the 1220 level. And then, of course, if it can break through there, we might look for another opportunity for it to go back down to the pink shaded area. The main focus yesterday, though, was for it to stay under the orange shaded area, under the historical resistance level. The risk at that point was that it broke above. Of course, the trade manager doing its job at the current moment. Uh, we are at break even, can't lose on the trade. But that was two of the trade suggestions made yesterday. Now let's move on over to the USD CHF. As we move over here to the dollar franc, you can actually see I already have the trade open down here, 96.88 as a buy scenario. Let's talk about this for a minute. Zoom out one more time. You can see the larger black box here on the chart. We've discussed that long term range in the live daily trade room many times we zoom it back in here a little bit more and you can see the blue box that's here on the chart and the market finding resistance at the top support at the bottom right now the blue shaded area at the bottom of the blue box is our main area of focus 9670 up to 9690 is that blue zone and you can see the past three days and now today the fourth day finding support right around there we've seen this before just look a little bit further back inside that blue box let me pull this blue circle out a little bit. You've seen the market t challenge and test underneath there before and unable to break it. Every time it challenges it, so far, the buyers have come back in and taken back control of the current spirit, not allowing the sellers to drive it through that 96, 90, 70 level, the blue shaded area. So as long as it sits on top of there, I am expecting support and looking for opportunities, especially since we don't have any significant news until we get into that consumer confidence data at 10 a.m. No significant news, high impact news. Uh, and in fact, if that comes out positive for the U.S. consumer confidence, we might see a little bit of a boost for the dollar. And this would turn higher again if that happens. Now, of course, if it's negative, we look for the breakdown through the blue zone potentially and for it to head on back down. So our risk at this point is that it breaks under and I'll just put this black line to represent a potential stop, it breaks underneath there. That's the risk at the current point, which, again, when we're looking for trades, we can't find no risk trades, but what we're looking for is lower risk trade opportunity. So buying into support is always a lower risk opportunity. Of course, our first target here, first target would be the yellow shaded area back into the 97 uh, 15 to 35 level. That's the yellow shaded area here on the chart. Ultimately, I would love to see it go all the way back up to the green shaded area, top of the blue box and the top of our range and challenge the last resistance. And if we can get through there, we'll look for further profit and potentially on a significant move higher all the way back to the top of the long term range that we looked at on the zoomed out view just a few moments ago. So this is our uh, scenario for the day today. We're trading within this 
period of congestion or ranging here for the franc and buying on dips into the support level. Four hour time frame doesn't really change it, but it just gives us an idea of what the price action has been inside that blue shaded area. Uh, you can see the market dipping, rallying to the yellow zone, dipping, unable to break rallied, dipping, look at this previous four hour candle, a significant pullback, a significant infusion of buy orders to drive it back above the blue shaded area 96.90. So buying on dips into the blue zone, at least currently is the the option that I'm looking to take. Uh, the risk is, like I said, underneath the, the last lows in the black line. So a uh, 40, 45 pip stop loss at that. We look for it to go back to the yellow zone, break above the yellow zone, possibly all the way back up into the upper 9700s for the dollar franc today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.